What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Arcadia. That's right. After long last, uh, I went through their album a few months ago, and admittedly, they just have one studio album, so um, it was a relatively short journey compared to several of the others I've been going on. Uh, but I loved it. In a sense, it reminded me of what I had come to know uh, from Duran Duran and the first uh, few albums. But it was different as well. It had a sort of um, a darker sound to it, a bit more of an experimental, atmospheric um, approach. And ultimately, I love the opening tune, Election Day. It had this swagger to it. It's got a groove. It's got a great saxophone. But again, it had this sort of dark synth atmosphere, and it felt just a bit different, a bit heavier maybe, than some of the Duran tunes I've heard, even ones where Nick Rhodes' uh, synthesizer work is very prominent. So yeah, it was a really cool experience, and it was a similar flavor to some of the stuff I had heard from Duran, but also its own thing. Uh, and again, I really love the opening track, Election Day, so I'm excited to hear what this early rough mix will sound like. That's literally what it's called. Uh, so one imagines that it is basically the first formulation of this track, which I noticed when I queued it up, it's about nine minutes long. I don't think the studio version is that long. So perhaps over time they sort of, you know, they narrowed it down, they condensed it, they maybe sort of cut off an instrumental section or so. I'm not sure exactly how it will differ. Uh, but yeah, ultimately it is called the early rough cut, so or early rough mix. So I assume this is sort of the first attempt at the track. Uh, that became Election Day that we all know. So yeah, let's get it. This is uh, the early rough mix of Election Day by Arcadia, which I assume this comes from a sort of you know special or expanded edition of the So Red the Rose album, but Izzy or anyone else, do let me know if that's not the case.
coral layer is really it's floating by while everything else is kind of hard and rocking through me. I'm 
like, I feel like we're just breaking down walls now, just like, busted out of a cage. And it's fading, I feel like they could play for minutes more. Um, just brilliant. Like I said, I don't remember who's on the sax, but someone please do tell me. Um, yeah, shout out to Simon, shout out to Nick, shout out to the entire Arcadia project. Uh, again, it is a shame that, you know, we only got one studio album, but it is nice to go through uh, some bonus tracks. I think I did a couple already, um, but I don't think that's the last. I think there's at least, like, one or two more. Um, I just have to go back to the emails. Uh, so, nevertheless, uh, do let me know if I'm mistaken in that regard, but again, I don't think that's the very, very last of Arcadia that we have to go through. Um, but a really cool version. Again, it was instrumental, or at least, you know, not, there weren't like the proper like lines that I remember from the original, and I like I remember it sort of like he, it ends with the um, sort of title phrase in the original version. But I love this. It was sort of dark. It was groovy. It was everything that I was thinking about the album um, going into it. That it had some swagger to it. It has sort of you know um, a sort of like not only a funk to it, but again like a, a sort of power and a groove to it. But it also has this sort of dark atmosphere. So again, that track perfectly hit what I was sort of thinking about my experience going through the album. So once again, shout out to Izzy. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.